guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Easy, and today I'm gonna be doing the second part of um, my mini series of um, acing your job interview. So I have said in the previous video, kasi upon checking earlier, ko ano yung pronomis ko, um, I was about to tell you about the salary or compensation, kung paano makipaghagal ganon, which is um, a bit sensitive topic and I think it's not yet time to talk about that and I think I'll have to read more about it so ayun. so to, instead today I would be helping you out and answering um, out of the box questions because sometimes um, interviewers or um, the evaluators ask out of the box questions so I do have a guide here with me um, so, galing to dun sa training ko previously. So, ayun. Um, I think this would be uh, just a few questions lang naman. Then, I'll try and answer it for you. And, I'll give you tips on how to answer out-of-the-box questions. Okay? So, I do have a lot of um, questions here. I do have um, 50 common interview questions pa. Pero, parang mas I think I'll do this in another video kasi parang mas ano siya mas parang part to siya nung tell me about yourself yeah so let's just focus on answering the out of the box questions and um, if you do want to know how you can answer this effectively or um, you can answer um, the question soundly you can um, continue watching. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So I do have 28 questions here. Now, um, this is out of the box questions. So, okay. Here. I think I'll start with... Hmm, sobrang hirap kasi ang daming questions. Pero naisip ko kasi kung paano ko siya sasagutin. Pero here. Uh, <laughs> sobrang buffering ko kasi binasa ko muna siya lahat bago ko eat share. So, ito. Uh, question. How, what will you do if I run away with your sister? So, if the interviewer asks you that, parang nakakagulat, ba? But, it's totally fine. Pero, mostly common naman kasi itong out-of-the-box question. Tinatanong siya sa, P, sa mga tao na nag apply sa call center or sa BPO. Pero, uh, sabi din nung um, mga pinsan ko that uh, we're on office jobs. Um, natanong din sila ng ganitong question um, dati sa interview. Pero to, so, um, what will you do if I run away with your sister? So, my answer is, if you run away with my sister, I would definitely ask you, why would you want to live with her? And are you sure you wanted to start a life with her? And are you sure about running away? Yun lang. Kasi, diba, this is just an out-of-the-box question. So, parang, ikaw, put yourself on that situation. Anong gagawin mo? Kapag ka, um, mag-run away with the sister. With your sister. Pero ito, may answer ako dito. Kasi, exercise namin to dati sa training. Yun is training ako with TESDA. So, ang sinagot ko is, run away with my sister, but make sure you, you'll give her the life she deserves. Wow! Hugot ka, girl! <laughs> ah! Hugot! So, yon. Then, meron pa next question. If you were a salad, what kind of dressing you would be? O, sige nga, ikaw, payag ka, anong salad dressing ka? Because there is a lot of um, salad dressing. There's sea sour, there's thousand, there's thousand Islands, there's um, honey citrus, there's a lot. Vinaigrette. So, yun. My answer here for this question is, uh, if I were a salad dressing, 
I would be a vinaigrette because I am liked by a few and it is not common among uh, small dining restaurants. I get to be in the healthier side because the olive of the olive oil, lemon vinegar that is used to make it. And salad greens taste better with the vinaigrette. So, yan. Pero bakit nga ba tinanong yung if you were a salad dress, if you were a salad, what kind of dressing you would be? Um, This speaks about your personality and how you view yourself. So, dun sa question, dun sa sagot ko, ang sabi ko, um, I like to be a vinaigrette because it is uh, liked by a few. So, ganun naman talaga sa akin. Hindi lahat ng tao gusto ako kasi, you know, minsan talaga tayo gusto ng mga gusto natin. Ay, sorry, job interview para. Pero, yun nga. Um, as far as I am concerned, as far as I can feel, hindi naman lahat ng tao is magugustuhan ako kasi, you know, um, medyo, ano, maldita tayo. Hindi medyo, maldita talaga tayo. So, ayun. Um, we are on the side that a few people likes us and we don't care. Kasi gusto natin is quality over quantity. Pero yun nga, it's, uh, it's not expensive to be nice. It takes zero amount to be nice. So, be nice to everybody. everyone naman. Be kind to everyone. So, yun. And the next question, uh, huh. if you were a punctuation mark, what would you be? So, sige. S- sagutin mo yun, girl. So, sa akin is, my answer with that be is, if I would be a punctuation mark, I would be a semicolon because um, a semicolon would always mean that you are resting it would be like an end but it would be a start of something new so yun parang kasi diba semicolon uh, is related to the speak to uh, mental health then so para sa akin i am a semicolon if i would be a punctuation mark because um it ends a sentence but it also begins a sentence kasi diba pag semicolon para magsa-stop ka lang to um separate to different ideas that that uh that should be in the same sentence okay so yun i'd like to be a semicolon next question uh yun <laughs> malatawa ako sa mga sagot ko dati yun so, ito. What would I find in your refrigerator? So, sige. Sasabihin mo dun sa nag-interview sa'yo, Ma'am, too big, Ma'am. Sir, too big, sir. Ganon, hindi. Um, imagine that you have your own fridge and medyo nakaka-LL ka sa buhay. At di, ano, syempre, yung mga gusto mo yung laman nun, di ba? So, ayun. My answer here, if you would look into my fridge, you'll find a lot of water bottle grapes, cold cuts, and cheese. Because I love tita things. So, yun nga. Na, ang lakas makatita ng cold cuts, ng cheese, ng grapes. Yun. I like strawberries too. And yun ang makikita mo talaga. If ever magkakaroon ako ng sarili kong ref, ang laman lang talaga niya is water, cold cuts, cheese, um, grapes, some fruits, strawberries, and um, yakult. Yun. Yun ang yun laman niya. And yogurt. Kasi yun yung mga favorite kong food na nilalagay sa ref, syempre. So, yun. Meron parang question dito. What makes you angry? So, trick question siya. Kasi, um, pag sinagot mo siya in a way that um, a co-worker that doesn't give a um, bug to the team or Hom ang konyo na doesn't give a bug. Pero yun nga. Um, if you would answer in that way, may kita na nila sa yun na you can't work with anyone. You can't work with people. Hindi ka team player kasi mahirap kang makisa- makisama sa ibang tao kapag ka ganun yung sinagot mo. So, ang sinagot ka dito, <laughs> people who say, who are you? Wait. Okay. So, what makes you angry? People who call your phone and say, who are you, makes me angry. Kasi meron, ano, taong, pag tumawag sa telepono mo, sasabihin, sino to? 
na girl, ikaw yung tumawag, tapos sasabihin mo sa akin sino to, okay ka lang ba? ba diba? It's common phone manners na, hello, who's... It's not... It... It's not even hard to say hello. Ayan. Narn. So, yun nga. Pet peeve ko rin yun. Um, yung, ano, hello, sino to? Girl, ikaw yung tumawag. Bakit mo ko tatanungin kung sino ako? ba diba? Nakakainis. So, ayun. Meron din. Okay, meron din is, may isa pang tanong. If you were given a free page ad in the suits, <laughs> Okay, if you were given a free page ad in the newspaper, how do you see yourself in six words? So, if I would be an ad, I'll be, there's no better woman than yourself. Yes, there's no better woman than yourself. Let's go for women empowerment ng walang dinadrag na ibang babae. Kasi you can feel better about yourself naman nang hindi mo i-compare yung sarili mo sa iba. ba? Diba? If you if you were um safe or sure of yourself, you would never compare yourself to others. But sometimes I still do that. Tao lang tayo may nararamdaman, nag overthink it's totally fine. Tao ka lang, kailangan mo i-address yung feelings mo. Pero yun nga, no better woman than yourself. So, you should only be better than yourself, not better than your Sister, not better than your parents, not better than your neighbor, than your work, than, co- than your co-worker, but only yourself. You beat yourself. Pero huwag mo namang pinitin yung sarili mo na magbago kung hindi mo naman talaga kaya. It's like, change is a process. Betterment is a process. It's a long-term process. So, ayun. Meron pa. If you could be a, any comedian, who would you be? So, hindi ko ito masagutan talaga. Promise, nung nag-exercise kami about this, hindi ko talaga siya masagutan. So, parang nakatulala ako nun next, siguro mga ilang minutes. Kung comedian ako, sino ba ako? Kasi nga, wala naman akong ano. Wala naman akong talent sa pagpapatawa, diba? So, yun. Siguro, if I would be a comedian, I would be... Wala, hindi talaga eh. So, yun talaga, hindi ko talaga siya masagot. So, yun. Kung ikaw, kung may idea ka kung paano ka magiging comedian or who would you be, then you could name it and you can explain it. You can connect it yourself. All out-of-the-box questions are personality checks on you. It's, uh, it measures how fast you think and how fast would you, how fast you think and how would you present yourself and how would you relate yourself. To the questions. Ayun. Kasi ano, hindi ko alam. Sabi kasi nung nagtatrain sa amin ito, there's psychology in, in this kind of questions na um, people who interview sa mga companies is nakikita nila in you kung paano ka sasagot, paano mo dadalhin yung sarili mo just by answering these questions. So, ayan. Last question. What is your perception of the painting in the lobby? Kung wala ka namang nakita ang painting sa lobby, bakit mo sasagutin? ba? Diba? Sinong baliw ang gagawa nun? Siyempre, tayong mga nag apply So, sasagutin natin siya. So, kahit ka lang painting sa lobby, sagutin mo yun. So, sabi niya, sabi ko is, the painting in the lobby is a masterpiece and an untold story of the painter that he cannot tell through words. Yes, because art is a form of expression. So, yun lang ang masasabi ko. <laughs> so, yun. Yun lang naman. Yun lang naman ang mga out-of-the-box questions. So, meron ibang, meron ibang ano, tanong dito. What weighs more? 100 pounds of feathers or 100 pounds of quarters? So, quarters is yung barya, ba? So, isipin mo Mas mabigat talaga si quarters. Pero a lot of people or a lot of persons or a, basta maraming tao yung sasagot ng 100 pounds of quarters would weigh uh, way more than the 100 pounds of feathers. Kasi nga alam natin sa sarili natin na mas mabigat yung quarters. Pero the real answer in this is it is it is the same because it both weigh 
a hundred pounds. So um, yung hundred, yung volume ng hundred pounds ng feather is more, pero mag-equate pa rin siya sa hundred pounds, and hundred pounds of quarters would be um, lesser in volume, pero yun yung away niya. Hundred pounds. So hundred pounds, hundred pounds. So pareha lang. It's the same. So, there is psychology then. Psychology ako ng psychology, girl. Ano, psych major ka? So, yon, di ba? Um, parang ang question dito is, your perception about things. Are you a pessimist? Are you an optimist? Parang ganun. O, hindi sa akin galing explanation ito, ha? Yun ang inatatandaan ko sa training namin during the time with Desta on how to answer interview questions. So, I am sharing it with you guys. Since um, mahirap nga makakuha ng training from people right now. So, yun. Uh, yun lang yung mga um, questions that I could share with you. Out-of-the-box questions. Yes. Yeah, so, ayun. This uh, concludes the... Um, Okay, so that would be all of the questions that I could share with you guys about out-of-the-box questions and how you can answer that. So, medyo maraming chika tong video na to, but thank you so much for bearing with me and for being with me in this video. And I hope to see you soon, guys, in my next one. Because I would be sharing with you naman is the common interview questions aside from the tell me about yourself. So, ayan, I'll be sharing uh, with you itong mga to at a later time. So, I'll be going now. So, please stay safe and see you guys on my next one. Bye for now!